All right. So again, guys, if we're looking for this antiderivative, we have the antiderivative is just going to be g of x, right? But before I really even do that, if I know that I'm going to be using this power rule kind of like formulation, I probably would want to rewrite this as x to the negative 2. Right? Would you guys kind of agree that that would kind of make uh, some good sense? I wouldn't want to um, leave that Ethan as a fraction, because there's not really a quotient rule kind of thing we're working on. Um, so anyways, just kind of following our rule with this case, if you're looking at this, is again, following that same process that we have, our n is um, And obviously, negative 2 uh, plus 1 is going to be a negative 1. 1 over negative 1 times x to the negative 1, which we could really just simplify this, guys, as negative, uh, negative x to the negative first, or negative 1 over x. And then just remember to add the c at the end. So that would be our g of x. I'm giving you kind of a couple different solutions for on that. OK? Yes, no questions? Just following the process. Add and divide, add and divide. Instead of multiply and subtract, right? Power rule, multiply, subtract, multiply, subtract, multiply, subtract, add and divide, add and divide, add and divide. All right, so now let's start getting into where it starts getting confusing. And this is where the notes that I'm going to